In this section, we're going to talk about malware. Now, this is kind of what most people consider computer security, but as we've seen so far in all the other sections, there's a lot more to computer security than just dealing with viruses and spyware and that stuff. But this is, again, what most people consider computer security. And believe me, this is a very important topic. And so we're going to break this down into the individual types of malware. And then at the end, we're going to talk about how to tell if you're infected and also how to protect yourself against malware in general. But we really need to get some basic information out there to start with. Now, malware is short for malicious software. It's a blanket term that basically means malicious code. It's software designed to do bad things to your computer. It's designed by people who are just don't have a life, evil people, who are just there to mess up with your computer. Unfortunately, it's also being developed by governments as well. So now we have this whole cyber warfare crap going on which unfortunately also impacts the consumers. So malware, like I said, is a blanket term and it includes several different types of programs. We have viruses, we have macro viruses, we have trojans, we have worms, we have spyware, we have keyloggers, and we have adware. Looking at our virus category first, we have viruses. Viruses are named after, for example, animal viruses, human viruses. A virus in a human body doesn't replicate on its own. A virus has to be brought into the body. It has to inject its DNA code or RNA code into a cell. And the cell itself replicates that genetic information and creates more of those viruses. And then the cell blows up and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, this is not an anatomy class or a pathology class. This is a computer class. A virus in the world of computers attaches to a program. The virus can wipe out data. It can send spam. It can send out lots of junk stuff. In fact, some estimates put the number of new viruses released at around 100,000 or more each week. Let me repeat that. Some experts estimate that there's over 100,000 new viruses created every week. Now, most of these are PC viruses. There's this fallacy that says that Macs are more secure than PCs, that Macs are more secure than Windows computers. It's not necessarily true. The reason why PCs have more problems with viruses than Macs is because PCs run the world. PCs run the government, PCs run the corporations, PCs run education. And so if you're a bad guy making bad code, you're going to go after where the majority of people are, which again is PCs. But believe me, if you're on a Mac, you can get a virus as well, but they're not, you're not seeing 100,000 per week. The other type of virus is a macro virus, and a macros in general macros are a series of commands that are automated it's a series of commands and actions that you can automate so you don't have to do repetitive tasks over and over and over again we find macros typically in microsoft office products so for example if you're creating form letters or if you're creating the same type of documents over and over and over again you can actually record what you're doing and turn it into a macro so instead of doing let's say 10 steps you record those 10 steps and basically play them back. Well, because you're creating this code, as it were, inside the Microsoft Office document, you can also put a virus in there. So macro viruses replace the good commands with malicious code. They can infect other documents, templates, as well as the entire system. So this is why you never, ever, ever open attachments or documents in emails unless you know that they were coming, unless you know specifically you're getting a Word document from Bob over there, you don't open those documents in an email. Okay, these videos are going to be pretty short because we're introducing the different types of malware. And the next one, we're going to take a look at the Trojan horse.